Welcome back to my lay selections for the 7th of September um, 2024. So let's see how we did last weekend just to see how it's going. If you'd stuck to the odds for last weekend, you would have ended up with $6.81 on a $30 liability. Had you um, taken all of the odds, we would have got essentially... $10.23 off, risking $30. So um, we did review Saturday last week, so let's just have a quick look at Sunday's results. Sunday we had a few scratchings, abandoning um, meetings, but a lot fell within our odds with a significant portion of the profit coming for the weekend on Sunday which was essentially $5.71 meeting those odds. So it was a good Sunday, got quite a few in there with the selections we had. That now takes us up to 315 selections overall for one loss with 185 of those selections hitting the odds that we were looking for. Um, and when that hits the odds, we've made $21.59 on that $30 liability and we've made $44.74 on the $30 liability if you do not respect the odds that are put into column L here. So seems to be going pretty good. Um, I've got a few more for today, so let's jump in and have a look for the Saturday racing. So essentially, Gold Coast and Birdsville, I could not find a selection um, just nothing there that met what I was looking for, so I'll take those two out. And we'll start going through what we've got. So we've got quite a few meetings today. Obviously, spring, there's quite a bit of good racing on um, and quite a few good horses out there. So let's have a look. So Randwick is the first meeting that we had. I've got race six, number 13. It's up in class and it doesn't have the speed to win that race. I'm risking up to the $200 mark. Randwick race nine, number 13. It's the wrong distance for this horse. Um, so I'm willing to go up to $1,000 on this particular horse. It's not got, I wouldn't say it's got much of a chance at this particular distance. So then we jump to Mooney Valley, where I've only got one race. Now, Mooney Valley is a race course where essentially leaders and on-pace horses tend to win more often. So you're looking for horses that come from the back because they just don't have the distance in the straight to run on. So I've only got one there, and it's in race eight. It's number 13 again. Um... Not suited to this race, and the recent form has been patchy, so I'm willing to go up to 250 on that one. Then we jump up to Queensland with Doombin. I've got race six, number 10. It's trying a longer race, but this horse looks way past its prime. I think they're trying to find somewhere that it might perform. Um, I don't think it's going to perform in this race, so I'm willing to go to $100. Then we jump to race seven. I've got Numbers 11 and 14. So number 11, the recent trial was not very good. It doesn't have great form. I'm willing to risk that up to $1,000 in this race. And number 14 is completely outclassed for this race. So again, I'm willing to risk this at any odds up to $1,000 on the Betfair Exchange. Then we jump over to South Australia with Morfittville. Um, I've got quite a few here. So race one, number six, it... This horse just does not like the wet ground, and it is a soft ground over there. So I'm willing to go up to the $35 mark. It We generally get some fairly good returns when we look at these lower, and I call them lower, still $35 is, is quite high odds. But compared to what some of these other ones are, when I've set the odds low, if we do hit them, we get a fairly good return. So it's only up to $35. Morfittville race two, number 10. It's not suited to this race. Um, essentially, I believe it's poor distance. Um, it's just, it's not going to fit in with the other horses that are in this race and will likely run out at the back. So I'm risking up to $150 in the odds. 
Moffat Phil race four, number 10. It's been a while since it's seen a win and it doesn't like the wet ground. And again, it is soft over in Morfittville. So I'm willing to go up to the $30 odds on that one. Um, the reason it's so low is I can't find another horse that I actually like that might win it. So then we've got Morfittville race five, number 12. It's had one win from 41 races. There's no chance. It's up in class. Um, I'm willing to go up to the $1,000 odds again on Betfair. And then we jump to what I think is the last race at Morfittville, number nine, um, with horse number 16. It's up in class. It's been running at the back half of the field. Um, I can't see it running on and catching or passing any of these in the straight, so I'm willing to risk that up to $1,000 in the odds. We've then got Belmont, um, race three, where I've got horses number five and 10. So number five is up in class. It's not running well on the wet ground. I'm willing to reset up to $100. And we've got Belmont, race three, number 10. I just can't see it winning in this field based on the barrier trials that it's had. So I think that one's a first starter, um, but the barrier trials have been terrible. So I'm willing to go to $80 on that one. Then we jump to race six, number eight. Um, on the current form, it can't win this. That's not saying that it hasn't had form before, and if it does find that form, it, it may win. But if it continues with what it's done since it returned, it doesn't have much of a chance. So it's I've got that one up to $50. Um, then we jump over to Hawkesbury uh, in New South Wales. We've got quite a few here again, we've got four. So race one, number five, it's outclassed. It's ran nine times with no wins, hasn't got even close. So I'm willing to go to $1,000 on that one. Hawkesbury race two, number one, it's going to struggle from the wide barrier and its current form. So I'm willing to go up to $150 on that one. Then we have Hawkesbury race four, number 10. It's had some poor barrier trials. It's got a very wide barrier. It's unlikely that this horse can go on to win this one, but I'm only going to go up to $30 on this. And then we've got Hawkesbury race five, number five. I don't think in this field it can win. The fave is very short. It should be very short. I think fixed odds, it was $1.35. Um, I don't see much beating the favorite in this one, but the other horses may have had a chance. I've just gone with this one as the lay up to $200. Then we jump out to Orange. So this is a very much country kind of meet. Um, the horses here are fairly poor. So um, just keep in mind, even the favorites in these races are gonna be pretty poor. Um, but I've picked the worst horses that are running around. So in race one, we have three, five, and seven. So all of these have very poor form. Um, they've either had really poor trials with five and seven, unlikely to win. Number three is in a wide barrier. I'm willing to take all three of those at any odds up to $1,000. So that's three, five, and seven in race one. Then we have orange race four, where I'm willing to go numbers nine and 10. Now number nine had poor trials and form. It's going to end up at the rear of the race and can't run on. So I'm willing to go up to the thousand dollars odds. And number 10 has been running last in most races, but it's got a little bit more class. So I'm only willing to go up to $60 on that one. Then we jump out to Majira. Again, it's a country race. So poor form in most of these um, races and we've just got to try to pick the worst of the those running around. So race two, I've gone for numbers three and eight. Number three has poor trials recently. It's running at the wrong distance, so I'm willing to go up to a thousand. And number eight is stuck out in a wide barrier. It's unlikely to have the pace to run on and I'm willing to go to 300. Then we jump to race three, number seven, it's had 12 runs, no wins. Um, I'm willing to risk it up to $80. Then we have Mildura race seven, number 15. It's in a wide barrier. It's not running well. Um, I can't see it winning from this barrier given it's, it's also number 15. It's been rated quite badly in this race. 
um, I'm willing to go up to 120. Then we jump over to Junction, which um, we're getting even lower class races here. So race three, number eight, it's not running well. It's outclassed. It's had seven runs, zero wins. I'm willing to risk it up to 100. And Junction race five, number nine, it is running at the back of the field and is last in most races, um, is coming last in most races. I can't see it running on and winning this, so I'm willing to go up to 200. Then we've got Toowoomba to finish off the meeting. Um, so Toowoomba is essentially our night meeting every Saturday and can have some long shots come in occasionally, so we've got to be a bit careful out there. Um, night racing is um, a little bit foreign to some horses. So let's have a look at race one, number 11. Um, it's won a maiden recently, but that maiden must have been a very weak maiden. It's done nothing since then. And in this race, I cannot see it beating any of these horses. So I'm willing to risk that up to 300. Race three, I've got 15 and 19. Number 15 is one paced. It's not fast enough to win this, so I'm willing to go out to $1,000 in the odds on the bet for exchange. And number 19 is just outclassed in this race. It's not up to this field, so I'm willing to go up to $200. Then we jump to race four, number eight. It's not running well enough to win this. It is a big step up in distance that it's doing. Um, now, saying that, I'm just a bit wary of it, so I've gone $30, but if it is under those $30, it will be value to lay. And then we've got race five, number eight. It's a massive rise up in class. It's losing by lengths. The only concern is it's going to try to get to the front and try to pinch the race um, by leading and just run as hard as it can and just tire out the other horses. Now, if it can do that, it can win. Um, but I expect it will tire itself out um, and Toowoomba has a long enough straight that other horses will come past it. So I'm willing to go up to 120 in the odds. And then finally Toowoomba race seven, which will probably be our last race um, for today. Number one, it's had a short layoff. It's got really poor form. I think it's double digit figures in the margins on what it's losing. I can't see it winning this. So I'm willing to risk it up to $40. So that's the selections for today, for Saturday. There's quite a few there. Um, I haven't checked if there's been any scratching since I started at 7 a.m. this morning. But um, just on what we have there, we have 35 selections. So that's a pretty um, busy Saturday of lays. And look, if we're lucky, we'll, um, we'll pull out another maybe five, six dollars on risking thirty dollars liability. And as I say always, thirty dollars is the minimum to risk at the Betfair starting price, but we've hit one unsuccessful lay out of three hundred and fifteen at the moment. So while thirty dollars is the minimum, I am laying these with a significantly higher stake to make it worthwhile. Um, and with that, I will um, leave it there. Thanks for watching. I'll try to get some videos in tomorrow. Um, there is a chance I won't get a video in tomorrow just because I have a couple of other things going on. But I'll see what I can do. And if I can get it up, I will get something up by 11 a.m. Okay, if you have a punt today, good luck. Let's hope this winning streak continues and we have a successful day. Thanks for watching.